Algebra 1 number 5.1c, we're talking negative exponents in this video. As we mentioned in the last video in 5.1b, we can get a negative exponent when we divide using exponents. We subtract when we divide. So if we have 3 to the 4th power over 3 to the 6th power, that gives us 3 to the 4 minus 6. That's going to be 3 to the negative 2, because 6 is so big. And we write it as a fraction, 1 over 3 to the 2nd power. Now, by definition, 3 to the negative second power and 3 to the second power are reciprocals, and here's why. If 3 to the second negative second power is 1 over 3 to the second, like that, this and this are reciprocals because 1 over 3 to the second power means 1 over 3 times 3. That's a 1 ninth. And 3 to the second power over 1 is 3 times 3 over 1, or 9 over 1. And these are reciprocals of each other, aren't they? When we multiply them straight across, we get a 9 over a 9, which is a 1. This is only for non-zero rational numbers, OK? So if we've also got 3 to the second power over 3 to the second power, because the numerator and denominator are the same, they're going to equal 1, won't they? And if we've got x, y to the negative first power, it only affects the variable that it's next to. So x is just going to come along for the ride, and then we're going to multiply it by y to the negative first power. So the y to the negative first power is going to become positive as a fraction. See? And the x doesn't get affected. So we can also express negative exponents as positive exponents by writing them as a fraction like that. Now, because a to the third power over a to the third power has the same numerator and denominator, so it equals a 1, that means that we can see that a to the 3 minus 3, which would be a to the 0 power, is going to equal 1. So any number or variable that has a 0 for an exponent equals 1. We're going to talk about the 0 exponent rule in the very next video, 5.1d, OK? So I used this in the previous video, but I've changed it a little bit. This is a number line going from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it goes negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And that's what the exponents are doing. See? It matches it perfectly. So 5 to the 0 power is a 1. 5 to the first power is 5 over 1, or 5. 5 to the second power is 5 times 5 over 1, or 25, and it keeps going up. And for the negative exponents, 5 to the negative 1 is 1 fifth. See? It's a fraction. And 5 to the negative 2 is 1 over 5 times 5 as 1 25th, 1 hundred. 1 over 100 and 125, see? And it just keeps going. So if we had 5 to the third power with three fives here and 5 to the seventh power with seven fives here, we can cancel out one, two, three of them and see that we've got these four fives down here. And we put a 1 up on top, and that's our 5 to the negative 4, see? It would be written as 1 over 5 to the fourth power, see? I know I mentioned this before, but I'm really trying to drill it in your head, OK? I want you to remember that when the exponent is on the inside of the parentheses like this, it only affects the variable that it's next to. Even if it's not in parentheses, it affects only the variable it's next to, OK? It's when the exponent is on the outside is when it gets distributed to both of them. Then you get 2 to the third power, x to the third power, which would equal 2 times 2 times 2 times x times x times x, OK? So remember, the zero exponent rule says for any non-zero rational number a, a to the negative n is going to equal a fraction 1 over a to that nth power, all right? And you can see this video's description for links to the previous video, similar ones, or helpful ones on this topic. And I'll have some 7th and 8th grade videos in there to help you, okay? All right, so we're going to move on to 5.1d, and we're going to talk about the zero exponent rule, all right? I hope you're doing okay. I hope I explained this well enough. I know this can be confusing, but hang in there, okay? We'll do that. We'll be all right. Bye.